how would you define log data and when it comes to challenges associated with where to store data lake data warehouse where we want to go uh, how to extract value from it where to keep it what kind of cloud to keep it and what are kind of challenges that are associated with the log data in particular with uh with uh, um high dimensionality data like lots of fields and with high cardinality data it's very inefficient to query it using um you know a lot of the techniques that are out there so uh and and most importantly uh, if you look at a lot of the solutions like observability solutions uh, because of the difficulty in processing uh, and, and retaining the data, you have limited retention windows. So uh, you might have uh, retention windows as low as seven days for some solutions, whereas other solutions, you know, it's 30 days or 60 days is the default. And that's really not enough time to keep data uh, in today's, uh, you know, today's uh, environment. You know, you need data for everything from billing and reporting to uh, machine learning. And so uh, what we've been focused on is uh, building a system that uses a decoupled architecture, so decoupled storage, which is pretty standard now in, uh, in data lakes. Uh, you know, Snowflakes used it, BigQuery uses it, uh, but we use S3 or Azure um, Object Store. We use, we use the S3 compatible storage for, uh, for storing the data. And then what we've done to specifically make uh, log data performant is uh, we index every field by default. Uh, we're built for streaming ingest and transform on ingest so that the, you can combine data, as, uh, data from multiple logs into a single table on ingest and query it immediately. And the real key to our, um, our cost savings in addition to using object storage is uh, the compression. Uh, we have an advanced compression technique that gives us you know, 20 to 50x compression, which is about eight times better than Parquet. And when you put all those things together, it means you can store the data for longer, query it with subsequent latency for needle in the haystack queries, no matter how long, how old the data is, and you can, you can uh, ingest large volumes of it. Um, millions of events per second is something that we tend to, you know, that, that, that's something we can handle. Now, the question that you ask about what kind of value do people get out of it, you know, let's take an example of a retro hunt. You know, you've got, you've got logs uh, that, are, that are full of, of, of signal that maybe some, some sort of compromise has happened. Nowadays, uh, with systems that don't have this sort of architecture, you're throwing that data away. You're literally getting rid of, 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 of information that would help you uh, d detect and then uh, mitigate a compromise. And, and companies know they're throwing this data away. They, they have no choice. Their budgets just couldn't, couldn't take it. So we try to eliminate that hard choice, that, that, that hard choice of having to get rid of data that still has value, uh, that, that's gone untapped. You know, the, the saying uh, that the data is the new oil, uh, I mean, it's, it's kind of a commonplace now, but if data really is the new oil, then why are people using systems that force them to throw away that data after seven days?